<laughs> hello, hello, and welcome back to the last door. We're gonna finish the game today. Let's see how it ends. Let's go, guys. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Continue. Okay, a bit uh, recap from last episode. Let's see. Previously on the last door. As a necessary step to understanding the mysterious disappearance of Dr. Wakefield's patient, Jeremiah Devick, the doctor, and his college, Johan Kaufman, visited the manor of Professor Wright. Years before, Wright had been Kaufman's and mentor in the occult, but since then, had been afflicted with a mental condition and could remember nothing. Okay, yeah, that's what he saw. They discovered that Wright's research had been funded by the playwright, the secret organization led by Alexander Dupre. While Kaufman lay in bed due to a sudden illness, Wakefield followed the clues left by the eccentric Professor Wright, leading to the darkness of an underground labyrinth. There was something waiting down there. Alive, but in prison in the cave. That was very creepy. In the deepest chamber of the tunnel, Wakefield met the dreadful result of Professor Wright's final experiment, which had been an attempt to cross the last door using fear as the key. <clears throat> so who are we gonna play as now? For three days, you must wait. Wait, who are we? Who's this guy? I don't think I've seen this guy before, no? Along amongst these dead stones. What is that noise? Oh, he's drawing a circle. <laughs> so we just have to stay here for three days? Only then will you be ready. Oh! Oh! Is that the last door? To cross the veil? To complete your journey, Mr. Ashdown. What? Okay, here we go. Hmm. Mr. Ashburn. I think we heard that name once before. Who, who's? Hmm. But I don't remember the the first name. So yeah. Are we gonna play as David? I don't think so, right? Are we gonna play as Wakefield? I don't think so either. Kaufman was sick, so I'm not sure if it's getting better. Who are we gonna who are we gonna be controlling this time? Okay, episode three. Oh another hypnosis. I think I can remember. It's terrible. Stretch. The bird. But it was not that of an animal. There was something human in it. Oh, shh. A desperate cry <laughs> for forgiveness. But try for forgiveness. Hmm. Yo, 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 yo. What's going on? Is this Wakefield running? Who this? Hello? Oh, I hear something. Hmm. 
Nah. This reminds me of that uh, Lovecraft tale of the cave. Oh, we are at squeeze. Jump to the sea. Oh, maybe we escape. Oh, this is the waterfall. Okay. So maybe we just... Maybe Wakefield... They found me on the beach, unconscious. Clutching the piece of good that I had that had saved me from drowning. Bro, the music in these games are so good. When at last I awoke, the letter was waiting on my table. Liver Wakefield, I write this letter in my last moments of lucidity. I have not received war from you since I regained reconsciousness. But I oh this is uh this is a uh, Kaufman, no? But I I need to do the, the words, guys. But I'm confident that you will soon return with information that is crucial to our investigation. The bravery that you demonstrated in the face of these latest discoveries is worthy of my most sincere admiration. I must know as you forget more courage. The doctors were unable to determine the cause of my sudden illness, nor have they found a cure. I have not much time I have not much time left. My greatest regret is that I must abandon you to the difficult tasks that lie ahead. I implore you to persevere now that we are so close to finding an answer. Kaufman, no! The professor's documents were filled with references to a place of a dark legend. The Chronemaiden. Chronemaiden? An ancient sanctuary on the island of Ellis Moor. Oh, we heard that before in the first game, no? The exact location of the Chronemaiden has been lost, but the professors believe that his secrets may explain why his experiments met with such disastrous results. You must find this place, my friend. I do not need to remind you to exercise the uttermost discretion. I have complete trust in you. Oh, this is motivating me. No! He died? Always your friend. Join Kaufman. No! Bro. Such. He was such a Chad. Nah. With Cop my gone, I found myself lost. My life suddenly devoid of meaning. It was just, uh, it was a uh, thought my friend had written a letter to a person lo no longer existed. Weeks passed, maybe months. I did not count the time, but the day when I realized there was no other option. We had to do this to honor my friend's memory. I had to keep looking. I had to find Jeremiah David. Let's do it. Wherever he was. So the last thing we saw about David, he got, he got injected by by the syringe, right? And then that's it. We don't know what happened after. I can see the island in the distance, at least more. Season 2, Episode 3, The Reunion. Ooh, Reunion. Okay. And uh, here we are, the island of Ellismore. Thank you very much. Ailey's more. Ailey's. He has an eye. Yeah. According to Kaufman's letter, the legendary Chronemeadan can be found here. As Kaufman emphasized, I must exercise discretion. For all I know, the player right is watching. Okay, anything you can tell me about this island, sir? When would you be back? Tomorrow at first light, probably. I'll be delivering supplies in the mail. I'll see you then. As you wish, Dr. Wayfield. Oh, let's go. Oh, hello, there's people here. Oh, there's a little town here. Yeah. Good evening. Easy thing. I hope you enjoy your stay. Yo, what's up, Polygon? How's it going? We just started. 
I'm doing well. Uh, good evening, my name is Wakefield. I have just arrived on the island. You ought to speak with Lord Donan then. I beg your pardon? Lord Donan, you should see him. Good evening, welcome to Ellismore. Who is this lore? Excuse me. A visitor? Visitors are most welcome in Ellismore. Yes, they are. Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh. Isn't this a church? Looks like the gate has been broken for some time now. No? Uh, a sign reads the wisdom of silence. Oh. The door is locked. Is there anyone inside? The windows are open and a light is on. Bro, bro is, what is this? An abandoned wheel. A peculiar cog is attached to it. Join? Based on the cog's workmanship, it looks like it was part of a complex industrial mechanism. And someone has tried to fit it crudely into onto the broken bicycle wheel. How on earth did it come to be in, the, in a village like this? Cog. Look at that cog. What the hell? Where? Huh? Nothing else? Hmm. Oh, there's someone coming. Excuse me, are you Mr. Wakefield? I am. I have a message from Lord Donan. Lord Donan? To our most recent visitor, Mr. Wakefield, it is customary in Ellismore to welcome strangers with hospitality. I should be honored if you will accept this invitation to join me at my manor for dinner and amiable conversation. Your new friend, Lord Donan. Okay, we have got an invitation. Ooh. Oh, that looks like a lighthouse on the top, no? And on the left, there is... What is that? Like a volcano or something? How do I check the map to visit the manor? Wait. Oh, there is another way this way. Oh. Okay. Well, let's check this. Oh. Yep. The faint smell of fish and potatoes is drifting through the shutter. The fish smells slightly rotten. X. So there is a path going up here as well. Let's see around here first. Uh, the door is locked. Uh, the gate leads to the village graveyard. It is closed and locked. Hmm. Alright, uh, I guess we go up here. Oh, so from here we can go to a different place. Cool. This looks like a long chapter, so that's nice. Dona Manor. Let's go. Yeah. Well, Dr. Wakefield, you are here on holiday then. Yes, indeed. I have come to enjoy a rest somewhere far from the stresses of city life. Uh, city life. I see. Well, these distractions you have come looking for, you have chosen the right time of the year for it. These days we celebrate a very special tradition of our king. Something unique. We call it the Festival of Reunion. Whoa. Fascinating. May I ask, what does it entail? According to tradition, for the next three nights... The spirits of reunion leave the confines of the other side and roam the hills of Elis Moir. We wear costumes and masks so that the spirits will not recognize us and make us the targets of their mischief. Certain rites take place too, but I shall not bore you with the details. You shall have occasion to see for yourself. Right, so it's like a carnival and a day, like a yeah, like a Halloween kind of thing. With the spirits, El Dia de los Muertos, like Mexican uh, skull stuff. You guys know what I mean? Nothing like that, no? It's like a mix of uh, those traditions. Anything else? A large statue of a person, it is so eroded by the passage of time, it is difficult to tell any specific detail. An exotic blend of black tea. There are two engraved panels on the wall. They appear to be ancient, but I cannot decipher the meaning. Same thing. Okay. Anything else? Oh, you have to check the items maybe to unlock these dialogues. 
Do these panels on the wall represent a classical theme? I cannot seem to place it. There are panels of the first king of Elis Moir in the days of the Druids. We worship the great god Lug. Lug? And our kings did right by those beliefs. I see, I see, I see. Uh, the statue is remarkable. May I ask uh, what it represents? Uh, it is Luke Lam Fada, a hero and high knight of our mythos. I see. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's like uh, two snakes, no? An odd mosaic adorns the floor. It depicts two snakes biting each other. Well, let's ask this guy. What are, what are all these decorations? Snake mosaic. Well, I cannot help noticing this remarkable mosaic. It looks authentic. Yes, it is. Although the some historians might disagree, we believe that this manor was built atop an ancient Roman villa. In our traditions, the double serpent represents a sentinel that protects us from the terrible threat hidden within itself. Wow. You seem to be knowledgeable about Ailis Moore's folklore. I should very much like to learn about the island's history in more detail. So I, I like how Wakefield is like, now I'm here on vacation, just taking a break. Now he's, he's back into the investigation. So he's trying to convince this guy. But I think this guy, this lord, he knows what's up, you know? It is true that we in Elis Morris cleave to the ancient traditions. We haven't lost touch like some of those in the mainland. But I am no expert. If you are really interested, you should talk to Miss Foster. Please forgive my indiscretion, but did you consider yourself a religious man, Dr. Wakefield? Uh, let's, let's lie to get deep into it. Yes, I do. You seem so certain. May, may I ask why? I've been able to get any faith. There must be a move mover. What the fuck? <laughs> this is fucking Descartian logic. Uh, I just said, okay. I'm not sure. I don't know. I just believe shit randomly. Uh, do not get me wrong. I am a man of science, but during my upbringing, the Lord's war was a constant. I see. Let us take a walk by the lake. From there, we can see the beauty of the island as we talk and be, be um, be the better for it. Oh. Uh -huh. The marsh in this valley is for simpletons, a wellspring of frightful tales. The educated among us enjoy the tale among us? Enjoy the tales as little more than distractions, knowing is safe, knowing us safe from those visions. We know these stories to be nothing but superstition. But how can we be so sure that in the dense mist that emanates from the stagnant water, we may not find passages to other worlds? What if the whales that drift from the reeds in the darkness of nights are the songs of those who uh, from our worst nightmares? It's getting very poetic. Many of the gods that men worship for millennia now lie buried in the common grave of oblivion. In Elis Moor, we keep our traditions alive. Oh, they change, just as the times do, but they always keep their essence. These are our roots, Doctor. I must now take my leave, as my presence is required to start the rites of reunion. Feel free to continue your walk on your own. The village can be found just beyond those hills. As I mentioned earlier, you may wish to speak with Mrs. Fort Mrs. Miss Foster. She is something of a resident expert on Ailey's Moore history. She can often be found working late at the school, the building right across from the quay. School. It, it has been a pleasure meeting you. What do you guys think? Do we trust this guy? Farewell, Dr. Wakefield. It has been a pleasure, Lord Donan. Now the accent is on the O. Before it was on the before it was on the A. What the hell? This guy is changing names. Okay, so what is in this lake? The water of the marsh is murky and dark. Is that a barrel? An old barrel lies stranded on the shore. A painted level reads mineral oil. It is sealed. What the hell? The drop is here. Pollution! Where are we going? We're going back to the village, no? Let's go back. 
Maybe we have a new way to go to the... Oh. Oh, the people are already dressing. Okay. This is the same mask from those guys that scared us, no? Excuse me. What? Hello, my name is Wakefield. Hi. Why are you drawing on the ground? It is a symbol, not a drawing. A symbol? What does it mean? It is the final truth that will protect us from the marsh dwellers. But we are not allowed to say its name out loud. Huh? The marsh dwellers? Who are they? They are scary. My aunt Kathleen says they were really bad people. You will never see them. But you will hear them in the ritz. They tried to take you in there with them. Oh, thank you. That's why we can't come here alone. We always have to take someone with us. I must go. I'm out. Goodbye. Farewell. Nah, bro. These people are... These people are weird. I don't trust always in the car. Don't trust anyone. What is this? A broken old fence. Uh, right or left? Let's go right. Oh, this is to go to a different place. Alright, so let's check the left side then. Alright, so we have here we have uh, the hills. We have the lake and these two guys. Okay. Because we're going to probably have to be moving from place to place to solve the puzzles later on. So let's keep track of everything. What the fuck? Oh! A huge hole lies in front of me. An ominous chilling draft issues from within that sends shivers down my spine and makes me very uneasy. To a superstitious mind, it might seem like a passage to another world. Where is this music, man? This place appears to be the remnants of an ancient temple to some unknown deity. What if I put this here? Nope. Okay. <laughs> that is creepy. Let's go back to the town, I guess. That, that man. The sound and soundtrack of these games are insanely good. They elevate the experience so much. Such a talented the composer, Carlos. Uh, yeah, let's go around. What is Miss Cor uh, Miss? Uh oh, the graveyard is open now. Huh? Miss Foster. What is Miss Foster? A small mausoleum. The door has a small slot. I might be able to peer through it. Ah, last time we did that. Oh. This is that, you know? Inside, a candle provides dim light. I can make out a statue of a hooded man. I can also hear someone whispering. No, I can't have yet. Not without knowledge. It is so terribly unthinkable to truly understand the gods. How can we live only on faith? No, shut up. Knowledge is what I pursue, not faith nor assumptions. Mrs. Golden? No, no one can face death believing there is nothing on the other side. Is that a an inner fight with himself. Maybe it's two people, but yes. Yes, you are right. Now I understand. What? This is conflicted. That's what religion does to you guys. The, the epitaph on this gravestone is written in Gaelic. The shadows cast by the lanterns only making the characters more mysterious. 
In the middle of the grave jar stands an old alder tree, which the locals call a fear knot. How do you know that? <laughs> Many lanterns hang from it. I don't know. I do not know for what purpose. Aww. Let's talk to these people. Hello. My hides his face behind a fox mask. He murmurs something in unison with the other, with the others. A mute prayer I cannot quite make out. Okay, all the things. So this is a fox. This looks like a deer. That's like a wolf. What are they doing? They're dropping something. Oh, they're. They're burning something. I believe they were burning mirrors in a hole in the ground. What a peculiar tradition. It's so creepy. They don't talk to me or anything. This is like... This looks like a bear. What is that noise? This is a shortcut. Nope. <laughs> oh, this is a dog house. No? An empty dog house. Nothing has slept here in many years. This is like a small boat. Oh. An old rowboat filled with stale water. Something sticking out of the water. What is that like a hook? A worn out umbrella. It doesn't look like it will rain anytime soon, but there might be a purpose a purpose for it. Okay. We got an umbrella. Hmm. This is open. Is this is okay. This is a shortcut. So to the beginning of the graveyard. Let's go to the other side. Let's go to that building with that weird noise. Oh, hello. A trash bin filled with papers. There's a drawing on one. Take it. This is why you have to inspect everything, guys. Uh, it's a shallow drawing. There seems to be a village, a lake, and so some sort of creature. Oh, who? Why is a house on fire? Oh, this is not a house on fire. It's like a freaking Charizard or something. <laughs> what the hell is that? Do I want to know? Okay. Hello. This is a classroom. Good evening. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm a busy woman, as you can see. My name is Dr. Wakefield. I have come to Ellis Moore to rest for a while. Lord Donan said that I might find you here. Have you met Lord Dunan? He has been so long since I have seen him here in the village. I hope he's well. Sad me I felt the Dr. Wakefield. Welcome to Ellis Moore. So you have not seen Lord Donan lately? As far as I know, no one has seen him since. Well, it's been a few weeks. Since when? What happened? Now that the festival has started, maybe he'll motivate it to join us in the village. What happened? Did something happen a few weeks ago? Oh, sure, it was a truly terrible... Kieran, his only child, disappeared without a trace. He went off to play in the hills and just vanished. No one has seen him since. The oh, fuck? Good lord. And you say he has not been found yet? How is that possible? We all searched the island, but he was nowhere to be found. He fell into that freaking hole, man. Save him. Uh, what can you tell me about Kieran's disappearance? Yes, that he was a restless child who loved exploring deserted areas. You might learn more from his classmates. His desk was on the back corner. There's a note there. Uh, what can you tell me about this curious festival? Well, it takes place when the constellation reunion is visible in the sky. Then those nights, dark things and spirits ride the winds that travel across the hills. As you may have already seen, at sunset, the villagers do mask. They do this too so that the spirits will not know them or carry them away to the depths of their underground caves. Right, I think you guys have some creep guy around. Uh, this guy seen as a spirit or something. Kidnapping people, you know? This is my... Here's my take on that. 
Uh, there was a group of masked people at the graveyard. What was that part of the festival? Yes, that was one of the first rites of the reunion. A very important one, as I said. People dress up to protect themselves from those that will come. But this is not enough, since the mirrors they have look, in, look into while changing know their identities. They bury them next to the old fear nug. The roots of this tree grow in both worlds at the same time, so they keep the witness mirror safe. Oh, I see. Interesting. Lord Donan said you are an expert on the island's folklore. He said that, he, he. Well, I wouldn't call myself an expert now, but I have lived here in Ellismore longer than most, and I have heard my first share of stories about the other side and its people. Oh, what? Might I, ask you, uh, might I ask you a question, Miss Foster? Yes, of course. Do you know the meaning of the word chrono? Chroneme I'm not gonna get used to that word ever, guys. I'm sorry. Chronemeden. Yes, it's a very unusual word. Very much indeed. The Chronemeden is a, it's the sanctuary of the crook one. It is a cursed place, the dwelling of the devil. I recall it from the tales that I heard as a child, of course. Our elders only made up those tales to scare us and protect us from her. Hmm. I don't believe this woman. Uh, will you tell me the story of the Chronomea then? All right. There is the hole in the ground up in the hills, not too far from the village. A hole so dark and deep, you will not see the end. Folks around here believe there lies an old serpent at its depths, ravenous for flesh. The crooked one. Long ago, our ancestors threw livestock into the pit in hope of placating the crooked one's, crooked one's hunger. Though that tradition has not been practiced for some time. So perhaps it'll be best if you did not approach the hole. I'm gonna get eaten by a snake. It is said that the last hair of the laid sand once defied the crook one by approaching the rim with an iron amulet in her hand. It is general knowledge that beings from the other side detest iron. So the cursing and the shouting of the young late son received no immediate answer. But a few nights later, the late son house was consumed in a horrific blaze, putting an end to the old family. Oh, maybe that's the drawing we saw. That is a flying snake, what the hell? I must leave now, it's been a pleasure. The pleasure was mine, enjoy your time in Ellismore. Okay, very nice, very nice. They will dance around the burrow. Around the burrow. Burrow? They will sing. It's cold inside as winter. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. Or else they'll pull you in. Yikes. Is that a riddle for some puzzle later or something? I don't know. What the hell is this? A paper with black circles painted on it. Okay. Oh. There's some kind of a worn screw inside. The remains of an insect beside it, though. And some drawings engraved on the desk. I'll take uh, the drive with me. It may prove it's, uh, itself useful. Uh, here on the right, there's like a moon and stars, no? Doesn't let me do anything. What if I use the drawing here? It's not, it's, it looks like the classic thing that it has holes and then you put something and you select what you want to see, you know, like an encrypted message. A shelf of handmade books with unfamiliar titles, most of them concern strange rites. A picture of a slender woman, apparently a goddess, wearing a black dress and having a and having a murder of crows around her. It's signed with the name Badb Kath. Badb? Uh, where does this go? Also, a screw. Combine? No? Combine the screw with the umbrella? Okay. I'm just combining shit. Alright, what do we do, guys? Uh, so this thing's still here. I don't know, I'm just testing random stuff. Let's go... Hmm, I don't know. Oh, everyone is gone here. All the villagers are gone. 
Hello, Vince. Skip me moving out. I'm sorry. I just, I, I, I really want to finish this game. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it in time for the movie, but I'll arrive later, probably. Oh, what is this? A battle? A message? Is this my mail? A battle is floating on the water. I'm so glad that I'm exploring everything. Imagine I miss this. A battle is floating on the water. It's caught in the seaweed. Just out of reach. I think there's something inside. Uh, yeah, be that. A paper is rolled up inside the bottle. Take it. Goats remain silent as the fox settles. We may look for the king beyond the clouds, but find the queen with a fiery crown. It's chill. Yeah, I really want to watch the movie though. Um, did you find a place to watch it? Wait, did we go? Yeah, we went this way. I don't know where to go now. Naturally. Cow? <laughs> Why are you talking like that, Vid? You're talking so correctly. Oh, okay. So now we are not straight inside the manor. This seems to be Athena, goddess of wisdom, war, and the arts. She's dressed in armor, seeming ready for war. Athena, my favorite goddess. This statue appears to be very old. Its appearance suggests that it could be uh, it could date back to ancient Rome. Wait, there's a passage here. Oh, another one of these. Uh, it's a safety bicycle. I still do not do not understand how they manage to keep balance with such small wheels. It looks quite new, but its chains is broken. Maybe we'll use the cock here. The wheel does not need another cog. Okay. It's true. That's fine. Do you require me to talk like this, Lancer? Yeah? Yes. The noise of the swing, generally being moved by the wind, is the only thing breaking the silence. I mean, and also this water mill, no? What is this? Ah. <sighs> Kieran's Playroom. Kieran's Playroom is written on the door in hand painted letters. The door is locked. So is this the this is the sun, no? That disappeared. Damn. And it has a moon and a star. Yellow and red. Okay. Hmm. The mill wheel. Something is preventing it from spinning. It is something on the water, no? I don't have my umbrella anymore. A strange mechanism runs from the mill wheel shaft into the building. It seems to be lacking a small piece. So I have to put the cog there, but the cog is way too big to fit between the gears. Looks like I need something smaller, thinner. The screw? Oh, there you go. Oh, that, now it's working. Seems to be the mechanism works properly now. So this thing that was stuck is it, now the water wheel is working. Nice. Can I open this now? Nope. Here is playground. The door is locked. How do you open that? Put the what? Where? <laughs> Put the the screw inside the hole. You know. Okay, I'm not sure. But maybe we have to find whatever was stuck there. Maybe somewhere else now. Let's explore a bit more. Yeah, if I go to a new house, bit. let's go. Can we go inside the manor? No. The door is locked. The manor appears to be dark and empty. Uh -oh. There is nothing else here. Where do we go, guys? Let's go to the hills. Did your homework? It's the weekend, bit. Anything else here? It's all the same, no? What is the battle for? 
I would take some water. <laughs> no, or some oil. I would have to open the barrel to get some oil or something. Ah. They stopped doing the circle, no? Oh, we're talking to, to the kids about the disappearance of the sun. Were you Kieran's friend? He was nice, but he didn't want to play much. He was mostly for going in the hills by himself. Was Kieran not scared of the marsh dwellers? No, he say he had seen them and they were not as scary as Aunt says. I think that's why they took him. You think the marsh dwellers took him? Yes, for sure. Before he disappeared, he said he found a treasure. A disc with a beautiful drawing. He took it from the old house in the hills. Maybe the marsh dwellers wanted it. Hmm. I must go now. Goodbye. Farewell. Do you not talk? Excuse me. Yeah. Wait, should we show the drawing to Mrs. Foster? Maybe she knows something about it. I found this picture. Was it made by one of your students? Yes, this was painted by poor Kieran. Uh, what would you say it represents? Things that were familiar to him. The village, his home. But these other shapes, I do not know. You could ask one of his classmates. They should be able to tell you more about it. Okay. I think you had to do that in order to unlock new dialogues. In order to progress the story, by the way. Like we're doing some Sherlock Holmes the detective work here. So this is the shape of thing. Can I check them inside the no? What if I put the paper on now? Let's ask the kids. Let's talk to the kids again. They must know something. The kids know. Uh let's go to the hills again. Let's ask him about the, the drawings. What do they represent? Maybe I should show it to them. I found this drawing at the school. Is it yours? That? No. Kieran painted it a long time ago. The drawing is Kieran's. There could be a clue here for his whereabouts. The hole? Should we check this? Hmm. Let's ask them... I want to know about everything actually Let's, so i'm gonna save the hole for the last one because i feel like that that's the key question i also want to know about this creature by the way now let's start easy is this the village oh this is the other kid talking yes and the fear not tree in the graveyard that tree gives me chills these nights for reunion they got me uh, they got them little lanterns on it and they to uh, look like little evil eyes staring into you what is this that's the crook one they say a villager defied it, and the next day her house was burned to the ground. They say it was the crooked one, paying her back. That's the house where Kieran found the treasure. Do you know how to get there? Oh, that's where he got the disc. <gasps> the lady thing that the uh, forces told us about, no? Sure, it's easy. Oh, we have a new location. Solitary house. Uh -oh. Good, 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 good. I want to talk. To oh, I don't have the drawing anymore. Oh, I want to ask. I wanted to ask them about the hole. So that was the key thing. The key thing was ask them about the the creature, the crooked one. But I want to, uh, like, oh man. Knowing what happened to Wakefield last chapter with that monster. What the fuck? A weaker statue sporting a pair of animal horns. The twigs look fresh. Bro, this is um, this is some um, very weird shit, no? This must be the house that the child was telling me about. Kieran's was here just before his disappearance. Oh, I can't go inside. A mailbox. The envelope is very old. It is stamped return and there is a letter inside. Let's read it. My dear cousin, I'm doing poorly. I will ask that you not call upon me here at Ellismore. 
Not now, nor ever again. Please keep grandmother's ring. I believe that she will have wanted you to have it. Yours faithfully, Bridget. The ring. There's something else in the envelope. An iron ring. Iron is important. So apparently it uh, repels those creatures, no? Let's go inside the, the, the house. The wind. Oh, who's a cellar? A metal trapdoor. It seems to lead some to some sort of basement. I think this basement might have once housed a library. It looks like it was not burned as bad as badly as the rest of the house. Even so, little here remains intact. The chest is open, guys. I cannot open the chest. It's already open. An ornate chest. It's inside and touched by the fire. It was probably open long after the inferno died down. There is a diary inside. <gasps> diary time. It is signed Bridget Lightsand. Several pages towards the end are missing. 7 August 1801. That is a long time ago. Words cannot express the gratitude that I feel, I feel for Aunt Mary Bequist. May her dear soul rest in peace. This house is just what I needed to steal my nerves after the exhausting pace of life in Dublin. So I guess her aunt died and then she gave her this house, no? To, to, to live here. Nice. September 10th. I will not have thought to find such a remarkable library hidden away in the basement. It includes several magnificent tomes on the most picturesque custom of our land. 23rd of September. I found Aunt Marie's diaries next to an odd iron disc. But the contents of the diaries were appealing. What could have happened to dear old maid who will write such things? Oh, she's starting to realize she's into some shit. The damnable place that speaks of, I must know if it really exists. I am resolved to investigate our family's script. It will be prudent to wait until dusk before traveling to the Northern Cape, so as to not be seen. September 25th, the Abbey was in such a bad state of decay that it was nearly impossible to find the mur mural painting in the dark. Fortunately, a dim light happened to shine through a gap in a wall, illuminating the face of the sentinel. I believe Aunt Mary's iron disc is needed to open the secret passage. October 10th. Is this the legacy of the late son? I can stand to bear it, it to bear it no longer. Fire will put an end to this blasphemy and cleanse the land of our family's curse. Wait, did she burn her house? And should the fire pro prove insufficient, may this testimony serve as warning. Oh, Lee. But she, she did it herself. May's late son must have found something abhorrent in her family's script. If I could find out what it was, I may learn more about the Krone Maiden. My intuition tells me that I must act tonight or else it will be too late. Hurry! Before the ceremony. Old Abbey. Holy. Oh, so many places, no? So, but how do we enter that? It looks like some sort of makeshift bed. Was Karen sleeping in this terrible, lonely place? The fuck? This side of the basement seems to have collapsed during the fire. This table has been appended. I'm sorry if I mispronounce something, guys, but some words are very hard, no? Remains of the books scorched by the fire. Most of the pages are ashy or blackened. blackened. So the text is eligible. I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. A common carpenter's brace. A tool like this will be... Will be used for drilling holes in good. <gasps> That's for the barrel. It could be used for later. That's for the barrel, guys. A brace. Nice. Bro, that note was one of the best in the game, I'll say. That was that is getting my curiosity raised very much. Uh, let's get out of here. Please nothing have please nothing creepy. Please, please. Let me go, man. Let me go.
So we have the iron ring. Oh, what the? Why are you burning? The wicker stat is burning. Who did this? They are on to us, guys. Oh, no. It's a sign. They know. We're coming. Wait, before we go to the old abbey, I'm going to test my theory for the barrel. Let's see if this works. So we need this and then the battle, no? I may be able to drill a hole in the barrel using this brace. Okay. Oh, there you go. That was kind of obvious. Now that there is a hole in the barrel, I must have to push the bottle uh, in a bit and I managed to fill it with oil. Nice, so we have a uh, oil now. I don't know for what yet, but hey. And then the ring, I don't know what it is for. And the gear, or the car, whatever. Come on. Let's go, let's go to the old abbey. Abbey? Abbey? Another one of these guys is gonna burn too. The weaker statue stands like a silent guard. Its presence makes me uncomfortable, as though I have trespassed on forbidden grounds. Or like haunted grounds. This must be the old abbey that Bridget Lightson described in her diary. Could the Chronomeda be here? Bridget mentioned a dim light, but I see only darkness. We need to find the mural with the sentinel, huh? She was talking about. The dome appears to be Roman in origin. It is be in better condition than the other ruins. What about this wall? Looks like there's something there, no? So we need a, a light source. We need a lamp or something. Oil. What? We can do shit here. Maybe we will go talk with the uh, Miss For Foster again. Yeah, I cannot check ever anything else. We need something else for this. Oh, she's <coughs> she's gone. What is everyone? Let's go to the tree, maybe. They are not here either. Where is everyone? I'd rather not interfere with traditions I do not quite yet understand. Wise man. Where is everyone? Oh, only darkness. I cannot hear or see a thing. Uh, uh, where's everyone? Hmm, maybe let's go to, to the hills. Maybe they're doing some ritual there now. Let's go to the hills. I also want to check the manor after. Wait, 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 wait. No, nah, it's the same thing. Alright. Let's go here. Hello, where is everyone? These guys are gone too. There's a drawing of some sort of spike circle. It is the sun or something else. So this is what the kid was drawing with the stick, you know? This was not here before. The child that I spoke with earlier seems to have left his mask here. There is a ribbon hanging from it. Oh. Uh, can you take the mask at least? Nope. Wait, wait, wait. What if we use the ring here? You just throw it there, you know? That doesn't make sense. Quasar, we got your strong without clothes again. Oh, no. Again? Oh! Let's try to catch this. Please. Don't fly again. Get it! Where? Where did it go now? Wait, I can go this way? Oh, I didn't know that! Oh, I didn't know that! 
I can see a lighthouse in the distance. Nice, new location. Right, I think these are all the locations. Lighthouse. So I could have gotten this before, probably, but... So we got a, a red ri uh, ribbon. I think it was part of the child's mask that was uh, left behind in the hills. Okay, maybe we have to return that. Oh, I want to check the description of the lighthouse. It may have provided the light that Bridget spoke of in her diary. <gasps> Very important to find the mural, the mosaic thingy. You see, this is why it's important to check everything, guys. But the lamp is off. I wonder if he has been abandoned. So we have to fix the lighthouse and then we go to the other place. Interesting. Sunny and covering my table. Nice. Bro, is that Car carpenter? Papa the carpenter. So excited. Nice. So let's go to the lighthouse. I think. Oh, that's so cool, no? Oh my goodness. Man. This game, like, the pacing and the crafting. Oh. Oh. What a ghastly custom. This weaker man is in the shape of a hangman. This tree looks like he's been dead for a long time. Oh, man. I'm getting, like, goosebumps. Please tell me it's open. No one is answering. <laughs> oh, wait, you watch Oppenheimer? Was it good? I heard it was a good movie. I had to watch it. Well, let's go up uh, upstairs, the lighthouse. I, I guess no. I see someone there, no? Nope. A white copper pipe runs from the tower to the ground. It is covered in salt and seaweed. Someone is inside. Maybe I could make some kind of noise to attract their attention. Open the door, man! Just poke the pipe. Yeah. There you go. Oh, they turned off. Hello? Oh, they opened the door? Sounds like uh, it attracted someone's attention downstairs. Let's go. <laughs> I guess I'm leaking. A drip of water left and shake has ruined the mantle and collected into a small pool. The hell, man? Fix it! Hello? Good evening. Would you happen to be the lad housekeeper? My name is Wakefield, a stranger. And what will be? What will he want from me? Uh, I was taking a stroll and I fear I got lost. I understand. After sunset, the hills of Ellismore can be tricky. We have a saying here in dusk. All paths change. Hmm. Didn't we read on the blackboard something about this? I don't remember. If you stand at the apex of the hill over there, past the rocks, you will see the lights of the village. Hmm. Why is the lighthouse lamp not lit? It is not dangerous for the ships. Don't do not let it concern you. Many years ago, the sea lanes were altered to avoid this coast. Now it's rare indeed to see a ship in these waters. After the accident, the lighthouse was never repaired. Was there a failure in the lamp's mechanism? Precisely that. One stormy afternoon, I suddenly hear a strong noise up in the light room. The clockwork mechanism had stopped working and the lamp was off. I have been seen a fail I have never seen a failure like that. I could not get the lighthouse working again. Hmm. You say you had an accident. What happened? I was shaking the lenses because the failure looked so very strange and I was worried. All of a sudden, the light must have turned on. I was blinded and can see nothing but fleeting shapes ever since. Oh, damn. <laughs> Poor guy. 
Has nobody else tried to fix the lamp since? No, no one in the village is interested. For them, the more isolated Ellis Nor, Ellis Moor is, the better. They do not care about ships or accidents, especially Lord Donan. He sees anything coming from outside of the island as a th as a threat. Oh, so he w he was very welcoming with us. I understand. Uh, do you know anything about the disappearance of Lord's Don and Son? The tragedy was a strange one, but a tragedy nonetheless. Uh, what was so strange about Kieran's disappearance? I just find it a bit suspicious that it happened so close to the reunion. It's too easy to be keeping secrets during the festival, being how everyone is afraid of leaving the village those nights. Yeah, everyone wearing masks, you know? Hmm, what do you mean? Look. Folks here are too gullible. They will do anything to protect themselves from their strange fears. They will not eat corn, nor drink meal, or they will dig graves for their mirrors. And of course, they will avoid standing near a fear knock too long because, though the fiends cannot touch the tree, they are attracted to the smell of its resin. That is important. Resin of the tree. Huh? But surely, it's all nonsense. Look. It's really easy to prove it all wrong. Is don't follow the rituals. You are a stranger to our ways. But have you seen any of the things I mentioned? Well, let's see a group of people in the village burying mirrors. Exactly. What do you think will happen if you unbury those mirrors? That a band of goblins will come out of the march marches to steal them? Nothing but nonsense. Oh, are you giving me ideas? Are you giving me ideas now? Uh, what of Kieran's disappearance then? Well, I will admit I'm not sure what happened to the boy, but one thing I'm sure of, this festival of reunion is nothing but a farce, and it will be just so easy to prove it. Hmm. Might I go upstairs and see the light room, even though the lamp is off, I should like I should like to take a view of the surrounding countryside. Well, I do not think you will see anything really, but if you are so interested, yes, I guess you may. You may. Thank you for the pleasant conversation, I must go. Alright, so let's check upstairs. Two locks and a course of far good. Uh, small stove hardly managed to warm such a spacious room. A portrait of a birded ship's captain, done in oils. The varnish is darkening his features consider consider considerably. I should like to visit the light room now, if I may. Yes, yes, you already have my permission. Oh, let's go. We probably have to fix this to find the mural, no? Uh, let's see if we managed to fix this. It looks like the lighthouse electric lamp battery battery slot. Ooh. Uh, some sort of electric switch. However, its battery is flat. Well, perhaps I can find a way to recharge the battery. Bro, the light is not working because it's not charged. The <laughs> fuck? How do I charge that, though? The clockwork mechanism that causes the lamp's reflector to spin. However, I think that something is missing. I could do with some oil in as well. All right, so we put oil. Oh, there's a leak. There is a little hole in the tank and the oil is leaking. The mechanism will not work properly unless I fix it. <laughs> oh. right, we put the cock there. It was the missing piece of the mechanism. I have replaced it. However, the mechanism is still too rusty to move. The ribbon? Holy, that was... I just trying random things. Now I can oil the mechanism without worrying about the leaking. I thought we were, we were going to give the ribbon back to the kid, but I guess not. <laughs> the cut was the missing piece of the mechanism. It's been replaced with the mechanism as well. It was easy to wind and now it's back to life. So now we have to, even though our reflector spin makes it working, the lamp is still off. So we need to recharge the battery. What if I put it now? Will it charge with the... No. Hmm, maybe... My only idea is the wheel, no? The wheel produces energy, rotating. Okay, that's something. Bye-bye, sir. Thank you very much. 
Is that Kryptonite? Like, there's something here I could take. I may find a way to fix this chain with the ring. Oh boy. The ring fixes perfectly on the chain. I'm sorry to use Bidget's grandmother's ring in such a manner. Still, maybe now I can get the bicycle to work. Yeah. The tires are too threadbare. I don't see how I can ride it safely, but at least the chain rotates. What is that noise? Oh, is that sound? Oh, maybe we can move the wheel to charge the battery, you know? What was that noise? Was that here or on the manor? Same thing. Hmm. Let's go back. guy was not here before they're following me the roman statue has been thrown down and replaced with a weaker one nah but right, can we charge the battery here now the bicycle is uh, uh, if I attach one of the cocks to the battery's dynamo, I may be able to provide it with a charge. Do it, do it, do it, do it. There you go. There you go. I managed to charge the battery by attaching the dynamo to the bicycle's car. Nice. So let's put that on the lighthouse. Thinking about upgrading to a rising system? Do it. Cow. Bro, this episode is so good, no? Puzzle wise and location wise as well. Hopefully, the batteries has enough charge to keep the lighthouse lit for a few hours. Turn it on, man. There you go. So now with this, we should be able to... Oh! This wicker man has been set on fire too. Who keeps doing this? Bro, they're following us. Oh, nice. Nah, so you can see the lighthouse. That's so cool. Let's go to the old abbey. Oh, now something should show, no? Oh, there you go. There you go. The light has revealed a mural painting on the stones. Just as it did for Bridget nearly a century ago. According to the diary, the light from the lighthouse revealed the eyes of the sentinel. The rock. A pair of evil eyes seem to glitter in the dark. The mouth of the sentinel is wide open. Wait, what is this thing here? That's the sun disc, no? This music is so good! Can you do something on the mouth? If it's open, no? If it's open, press it! Anything else? Oh, there's something here. You can only check it when the light is passing, you know? What? Is there anything else? Oh, wait. The guy told about, about I'm burying the mirror. Should we do that? Oh. I'm not too sure about this. Okay, when you I'm buried the mirror. I wonder if that changes something, you know? Now they're gonna get hunted. Oh boy. Oh, someone. What was that? Oh, hello. Are you a person or an evil spirit? Oh shit. It's like those Asian 
dragon head thing is. The mirrors are completely shattered. Why would that mask Matt do that? It's creepy music. Oh, he's here. Hello? Where are you? It seems to be heading east. Why are you running? Oh. What are you doing here? Oh, this is open now. Wait, is this Kieran's? Should I enter this? I'm kind of scared. I'm going to jump. I'm going to get jumped. Hell no. An ornate lever lever is built into the wall. Uh, a doll's theater lamp spinning around. A painted man's size Gooden doll. It represents an old lady. Celestial bodies made out of paper. Uh -huh. This guy has a shield, no? A painted man's size Gooden doll. It represents a king. Oh, the king, the queen. Mm. I forgot the riddle. What the fuck? Oh, what the? Oh, shit! You guys see that? Is that a person? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, man. The stranger's mask is lying on the floor. Joink? Something is underneath the mask. Oh, the disc. An old iron disc. A drawing of a spike circle is engraved on it. Take it and run. I can hear something wandering in the dark. I can see a deformed shadow in there, writhing and fidgeting. I cannot. I can go not get any closer. <laughs> oh, it's safe. How about? Fuck this shit. Goodbye. Not long ago, I may have found these toys amusing, but now they fill me with dismay, like some vile opium hallucination. Yeah. Okay, we got the disc. I'm like on the edge now. If something happens. Oh, this one. Was it? You get now the statue is burning too. Is someone following me? Obviously. We're following people. People are following us. Okay, so the this we should put it on the should we put it on the next to the hole or should we put it on the on the sentinel? No, I'm not so sure. I don't care about the rocks, man. Go here. What the fuck? Oh man. Okay, let's try this. That doesn't work. Okay. What do I do with the disc? Let's try on the sentinel. Because according to the diary we found from Bridget, no? She said she discovered this and then she had to put the disc on it, no? Let's see. Oh, there you go. The hidden entrance is open now. Oh. What was that sound? Someone is burning the weaker. No? Oh boy. Is it, is it gonna be something different? Burn again. I'm gonna catch you, whoever you are. 
<clears throat> Maybe it's the Lord guy from the man from the mansion. Lord Donan. This symbol looks familiar. A spike circle. It could be the sun. A statue of a Madonna, but something is off. I cannot tell what though. You don't have any light source, man? Oh my goodness. The tunnel descends deep into the earth. Will I find the, uh, the lens that crept at the bottom? Or something? Dear God, I am reeling. Cough, my, my friend. Your faith in me was misplaced. I cannot. No. I will persevere. Let's do it. No fear. What is a chant? Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh. Uh. Huh? Oh, are we at the bottom of the hole? Some old pages lie half in the on the coffin lid. It is as though they have been dropped here from the upper hill long ago. Maybe these are the... Do you remember the, uh, on the diary it says the last pages were turned off? Uh, turned out, uh, like, broken? Maybe they throw them there or something. The beer faint notes written in a trembling hand. <gasps> Down in this unholy burrow. In the fear Chronemeadon, our worst nightmares crawl and die. Resting down here are the dauntless, those who, are, who dare enter the lair of the snake and the bird. Each of those men and women cross the path between. They walk through the mist to the other side, where the ultimate truth screams in terror, and then they return. These are my ancestors. Amongst the dead stones of the Kronemeadan lie the proud Leitzen, reduced to something far worse than dust or ashes. Could that blasphemy in the coffin be Aunt Mary's true legacy? No, I shall not accept this fate for myself. The engraving in the coffin is so badly eroded that the name is barely readable. Mer Letson. Which one? The aunt? Or Bridget? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what the fuck? That's the creature from the drawing. Oh, whoa, someone's closing. This is like the ring. Get out. What? Oh, I can't move. What the fuck? Where am I going? I can see shit. Oh. Okay. My eyes are adapting to the darkness. This place was not this big, no? Where am I? That skeleton, though? Seeker of truth will sacrifice their wisdom. Wait, is this the fog thing we read before? So to open the way to where the fair knob blooms. Your offspring we welcome its hidden threat. Is that why Kieran would maybe Lord Donan offer his son as tribute only the light of your sign will carry its perch the light of your sign is that the this oh what the fuck kiran is that you oh <laughs> okay the fuck at me oh hello oh are these all the tributes what is happening they're looking at me
Tengo miedo. Ah, de ay, no. You guys remember that track I always found before? Oh, where, where the hell are we at this point? Does that mean we cross the veil or something? No, right? <gasps> Damn it! We found him? Or is this a hallucination? Damn it? They seal the hole with the stone. Oh my god! The adventure continues in season finale. Oh! Let's go. Straight up. Previously on the last door. So, Wakeville is himself subjected to this ritual and transport to an endless land of fog where he finally seems to meet his missing patient, David. Seems to. <laughs> he must be stopped. Oh, we're Alexander now. So, who must we stop? And why? We have not come this far. Oh. To see our work ruined now. This is the player, right? Oh, guys. Finale incoming. I'm hyped. This is... This is gonna be good. Oh, man. This game is so good. I feel like the first one was very good. But this one is just... Such a good follow up. Just. Damn. It feels like a crescendo, you know? I just hope this episode, this episode is really good and it nails the ending and it's just like, it lets you feel in the best. Oh! Last door. Last episode. We left the black waves of that sea behind and walked through the mist. At times, gusts of wind part the mist, revealing a barren landscape under a dying sun. So does that mean Wakefield and David are walking together towards this place? I guess so, right? Oh. At first, I could not contain my many questions. But David's only reply was a grave silence. Eventually, I lapsed into an uneasy quiet and resolved to follow my patient. I knew not where. 
This looks like those Roman ruins they talk about where the uh, ritual takes place. No? We wander through the vast desert without any apparent goal. On occasion, vague shapes appear in the distance. Crumbling towers and abandoned cities. Lost amongst the rippling dunes. The passage of time lost its meaning. I had traversed what world all, uh, that world all my life. All the world's life. Our journey was eternity. Then, the man at my side, who, whom I had followed so long, stopped. He spoke for the first time. We are nearing the threshold. It is the starting point, Doctor. The first place to look. I'll be waiting on the other side. Remember this. I'll not be here forever. Darkness will light your way, but then you'll be alone. Why? Why? Beyond the curtain, oh boy. Okay, let's explore. Oh, okay, we cannot go back. So, why is David behaving? Maybe it's because he got injected, no? And with the serum, he's behaving like that. What could my companion have meant? The threshold. Any of these strange memories return to me of another life. Before the desert was my everything. The fuck? And those strictly words, darkness will light your way, it was not the first time I had heard them. True. Who said that? I think it was like episode one or episode two. Someone told us that same sentence. I think it was someone on the asylum, no? They were from a dream, a terrible dream, when I had begun to follow the trail of my missing patient and taking my first steps to uncovering the secret world of the veil. Is that a person? I guess this thing. In this place, the ancient shadows created by human reasoning tremble in sheer terror. Its name is Sai Lathal, the last curtain. Oh shit. The scorching light of this dead sunset leads through my petrified fingers. My eyes burn, I feel them melting like candle wax. Okay, we can go up there, it looks like a temple. I can also go this way, let's check this first, no? Dude, these people are so creepy. I wanna talk to these people, or whatever these guys are. Raise your arms, or the wind calls our name. The hour has come for us to take the flight one last time. Shit. Are they all wearing the creepy mask? But not golden, maybe? Look to the sky, your riches to the earth, but we'll never meet it. Can you see the magnificence of this infinite horizon? The call. Unattainable, all embracing darkness. This is the outer limit of the threshold. Not far from here, the black waves of truth wash upon the veil that covers human eyes and it falls apart. That is so cool. Such a good writing. There is no death but rebirth. There is no void but awakening. The path winds into the forest, but these trees are too dense for me to go any further. Okay there, dog. I'm too tired to go on. To keep seeking what was promised us. But at least here I am safe. 
saved from the terrible hazard of peering through my own shadow. The path is blocked by sharp rocks. I cannot make my way through. Okay, so maybe we can go into the forest later, but... Huh? And then here to the left, this seems to be... What is this? Staircase or something? A house here. This looks way too similar to Hanthony's house, no? A light is on inside, but I cannot see the room clearly. Hold up. Oh my! S silhouette of a strange shape. Have it's reaching for something, no? The pendulum strokes are sickly slow, but they seem to keep time in this place. Use gray light shapes through the glass, barely any light is entering. So are you telling me Anthony's mansion is a copy of this one? Or what is this? The entrance looks very similar. Yeah, we've been here before, no? No, this is the, the other guy. Then painting lacks any form of composition. They are uniform shade of the previous black imaginable. Door is locked. What was his name? The painting. No, 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 no. Yeah. There's something inside the bird cage. Some kind of root. Seems to have a human shape. Looks like the weaker statues we found before, you know, but the baby one. Small one. Where are we going? Man, you really need a lamp or something. Oh, what the? F There's something inside the cage. A shadow is staring at me with the dead eyes. Don't get close, don't get close. <laughs> <laughs> Should I give it the root? Or I cannot give it anything. Nah. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. But what if it's a person in need of help, guys? What if they got kidnapped? Yeah, I'm gonna keep my safety first. Um Let's go the other way, and then if we don't find anything, we come back here. There is no way to go right side here, so it's only left. Yeah, cool. What about this right? This way. Oh, we can go this way as well. Rocks have been piled against the wall as if to conceal something. <laughs> oh, this reminds me of the crows that were killing the older crow in the first game. The ground is soaking blood. Black feathers are strewn upon. What happened here? Like, this place feels like a amalgamation of memories and moments and locations from older, from the whole story. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, uh, the gramophone as well. There is no disc. I don't want to play another creepy song. Okay, so we've got the roots. We need something to move the rocks, probably. We have the gramophone, the cage, one locked door. <clears throat> and calm. Man, this music is giving the tension so well. Let's go the other way. Upstairs. This is why. This, this, if I show this guy the roots, nothing happens. Okay. These ruins, built by beings long forgotten, grant access to the last threshold. You are welcome to enter the ruins, but you will need to find your own key in order to th reach the threshold. We need to find our own key. The man at the entrance said that these ruins contain the access to the threshold. 
But I see nothing. Oh no, I skipped the dialogue! I think it says something like, David said that the darkness will light your way. What did he mean? I don't know that. Okay, I need to be careful. See nothing but ruins. What? What was that David said? Darkness will light your way. What is this thing here? It looks like a poster for a theatrical show, but it has neither a title nor a date. Oh. Perhaps it will prove useful. What is the road moving? This is like a threat to boss man. No, 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 no. It displays the silhouettes of four men. I swear this just moved. No? Am I tripping? Bro, I'm tripping. What do we do? I cannot go left. So we probably have to go like up here, but it has to be darkness. Darkness will light your way. Oh boy. There we go. Maybe we give it the root to eat. Wild well, ideas. Take this. I cannot even give it to it. Oh. I guess there's something in it. No, through it. As though I were staring into a dark void. Off in some remote distance, curl, curl, colorful shapes flow in seemingly impossible patterns. What? What? Jeremiah David, Edward Street 24, Westminster, London. Correct. Oh, he's receiving the. I should see stolen and send it. Set the plan in motion. Wait, is this Anthony? But what then? Lead my old friend through this dangerous journey? Oh, this is when Anthony was planning everything, no? The shadow is gone. There's something on the cage floor. A rusty key. Oh, maybe for this door here, no? Oh, man. What is that noise? What is that noise? That noise was not here before. Oh. Oh. Is that a centipede? What is that? What is that? So this is the where the lynx was. This is the laboratory. The words of my father. So much has happened because of them. So if you guys remember, Anthony's father was like the origin of everything. Like the ritual and the, the cult and everything. So... Alexander swears that this time we will succeed. And that the Hopo will undo all our mistakes, free us from the terrible hunting gaze. But should we not accept the consequences of our actions? Yeah, because they tried the ritual and they fucked up, and then since then they've been ha being hunted by these. Uh, so much suffering, so many deaths. For what? What have we attained so far? So many tests were needed to find it, but now that we have all these books, their secret knowledge concealed for generations, waiting for some fool to unveil, unveil it all again. And it's all of Craftian, no? Should I? No. We have to commit. And I guess we have to put this on the Link's mouth. This letter, if it dead, neck is yet. It will be enough, I think. It's time to send it. I'm just not sure that is the right thing to do. Oh man. 
Because on the first game, first episode, we saw Anthony first moments, but this is a little bit before that. The shadow has vanished. They're just showing us visions, a slate disc. Okay, so we play this on the a large crack in the wall, a few rays of an, an early light streams through it. We play that on the gramophone. I hear we're seeing something here. We're fine, we're fine. We're fine. When I put the disc on the gramophone, it started spinning on its own. Wait, is that a melody coming from the house? Last time we did this, I got scared. I got jump scared actually. So, another creepy melody. It's coming from here. Oh, there's another door now. Hello? <laughs> Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It, it is just the shadow of the links projected into the wall. Are you sure about that? So this is Anthony's lab, a lynx. I took it for a stuffed lynx at first, but I think it's actually made of wax. Oh my, I accidentally broke off a piece of his mouth. Jaw. We can go upstairs? Works. That makes sense. Wait, the music is not coming from here. It's coming from the left, no? From the basement. Stopped. Oh, no, no. What the fuck is that? Ugh, there is a dead cat on the floor. I think it's rotting. It's... Her eyes are missing. Ugh. There is something on the floor beside her mouth. Is that the cat we found behind the wall? Golden key. Golden key. What is that for? Oh, for the trap, no? For the <laughs> attic, maybe. Yeah, yeah, because it was it was a golden key before too. So. Wait, wait, wait. Holy shit! Oh, he's hanging. He's hanging. I hear the rope. Never mind. Who are you? You are of no worth of to us anymore. There was barely any worth to begin with. It is. Is this really the best option? You're supposedly brilliant mind, cool ambition. ambition. A few meaningless words, a pathetic attempt of your guilty shattered conscience to remedy the situation. And then, you hope to wash the blood from your hands with a cheap exit. Look upon yourself, Anthony. See what you have become. Witness your only true legacy. Oh, they were talking to him. Okay. Is that Mr. Beachworth? I see something through his shadow, slowly taking form. What do you mean by that? Oh man, this chapter is such a trip. It's so confusing. Oh, this room is the room with the... Was it Anne or Margaret or something? So this is Anthony. Uh, Anna. Anna, sweetheart. 
how did this happen? And the crow is on her bed. Too late. It's too late for us. But he still can choose. I have had to warn him. Hmm. So all these people. Oh, that's a cool. They were all curse, I guess. But the curse was like taking place in order, in a certain order. So Anthony knew who was next. But the next one was David, and he tried to save his friend. That's my assumption so far. There is something on the ground near where the masked person was standing. It is a fragment of a broken mask. Okay, a piece of a Greek tragic mask. Bro. So we are out of there. Supposed to say anything new. Uh, sky. No, man. All, right, all the same thing. Uh. Someone's talking. At oh, I can go this way now. I'm glad I noticed that. Oh, the beach. I see stack just of the beach. It seems to have a lonely demeanor. Oh. This is where David got buried, no? This is a hole in the ground. I have seen gardeners digging holes like this when they need to transplant trees. Root? Makes sense. Cover it. Makes sense. It is well covered. I plant the root in the ground. These trees are the only reminder of life around here. It's as if they are guarding the statue. Shadows linger inside Lathal. Like insects trapped in a cobweb. At its center, the spider lies in wait. Underneath the statue, Put, there is an empty hole where a face should be. I remember seeing statues like this in Professor Wright's garden. Oh yeah, the one like taking the mask off. Should I put the mask there? Yeah. Maybe we have to find all the pieces first. Oh man, this chapter is so good. Oh my goodness. The shadow of a child is sitting in the corner, shaking in terror. Who is this? As I peer through a keyhole, I can see things moving in the darkness. Another vision? Oh. This is the guy that draws stuff on the asylum? I like this style, but those themes, does Lena approve of this kind of art? You have not lost your old sense of humor, Alexander, even after what happened. Do you not recall that sight? I'll erase the memory if I could. I found that painting make it easier to bear. Oh. So is that at the school? What brings you here anyway? It's been years since we have heard from you. I thought our old cause had long been forgotten. Listen, Ashdown. Ooh, this is Ashdown. What if I told you I have found a way of crossing safely. No reaction? <laughs> so that's those are two of the four witnesses, I think. <laughs> Dazzling light can see the window. The shape of an eye is painted on the blackboard. Is this root uh, grown? Nope. I don't know what to do here. I may have... Oh, this is a cave here. Was this here before? I don't think so, no? Oh. The piano. The grand piano. It's missing a key.
Mm. Yeah. What do I do? It's missing a key. Um. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the hell? This is different. A colossus born of rock and craftsmanship. Relegated to the briny black uh, backwaters of this nightmare and to the emotions of injury and despair. The descriptions are so good. Another cave. Oh, it's like a mirror. Huh? <gasps> Looks like a piano key. A grand piano is missing most of its keys. Where are these? Look at these figures back here. Oh boy. Let's go up here. Oh wait. Right. So we have the piano key for the other piano. That's cool, right? You have to solve the pistols in two dimensions. All oh, these these trees open here, the root I planted. Huh? There are two curious symbols engraved on the statue stone. Do I need to remember that? Like an A and then S? Like a snake or something? I don't know. Like a serpent? Two serpents? Do I need to remember that? A massive tree has grown underneath the coffin, bursting it open. Some macabre artist has placed a life size statue inside. Was it. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Was it placed by a visitor or does it represent another memory? Or was the statue somehow. No, I cannot bear to think of it. Wait, what does it mean by that? The statue is almost as though uh, they are children of the standing stone that dot the horizon. They are less weather beaten at any rate. That's weird. This is a word about the miasma inside. Don't breathe that shit. Is this the same thing? Peering into one's own truth is forbidden. Where the snake... I can't read that. <laughs> Where the snake and the bird for to meet. Ultimate... Ma what is that? Ultimate war what warmness something <laughs> I can't read that word will take in doom from who okay. care I can't read that mirror word let's go in here <laughs> What is this? Shapes are forming through the shadow. I cannot look away. I must see. Ah, the cracking. I hate that noise. Oh, it's fire, no? So this uh Alexander. His name is Professor Wright. Right, yes. I recently had occasion to meet a disciple of his. He referred to himself as a psychotherapist. I had the impression, impression that Wright's methods were more closely resembled those of my trade than those of yours. He's eccentric indeed, but I think his thesis may be proven correct. If so, we might have found a way of reaching the threshold without attracting the attention of the custodian. A shortcut, you might say. A shortcut through the veil. The problem is in the method itself. He has some unusual requirements. And we will need a man of great sensitivity who knows the peril of reaching the door. They are they are planning everything that's set on motion what happened in the first game, basically. That's crazy. Uh, it looks like a music sheet was left on the desk. There is something wrong with this music sheet. It's like a mirror, no? Okay. The keys on the right side. 
a giant drawing of an eye, yet it looks more like Saturn and the rings surrounding it. <gasps> hmm. Oh, what is this? Plugs have been nailed over the windows, but what to, per what, to what purpose? There's, there aren't enough, enough plants to provide protection or keep the light out. Hmm. Oh, another mirror. Now, should I go back to the piano or should I keep going? Oh, we're back here. Ah, right. disconnected. Cool. So, wait, where? Do I need to do something here? Let me read this again. Hmm. I wonder if that's one half of the puzzle and the other one is the mirrors. So we have to play this here. The key fits perfectly. I remember some lesson from my youth, but I could not possibly play a melody without the assistance of a music sheet. Ah, my God. The melody seems simple enough. I think I could manage to play it. Okay, here we go. Piano puzzle. Uh, melody is strange about this music shit. Uh, the melody goes fa 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 so la ti do do do. Okay. Oh. So we played on reverse, no? Oh, it tells you what note it is. So we play do do do, ti la, so fa fa fa. Yeah, so. I didn't do shit, bro. That worked. What? I played that before. I guess I had missed one press, but as I suspected, it is the melody that I heard at Wright's Mansion. What? A, what's that? It's coming from another place. Oh, so now the other piano is playing. In the theater. Oh boy. Oh boy. I, I played a melody before. Come on. Oh! Stop with the puppets. A terrifying shape loops where the piano once stood. It is being pulled on threads like some monstrous puppet. The threads converge on a distant point. Something is taking form there in the darkness. It's our old classroom, but that shadow. Who? This, this is not possible. The shapes beyond the light. Okay, so they. My fingers. No. Do not come any closer. My hand. My hand. So I guess it's getting grabbed from the threshold. So creepy. Ah, don't do that again, please. That's like the both dimensions are mixing. He's opening the veil. And he's getting grabbed by it. Holy. There's something on the ground near where the masked person was lying. Okay, so we got the fragment of a broken mask. Now we got two fragments. I guess we need four in total. I'm not sure. Oh now the the four is open. Oh man. Oh man. This is a masterpiece of storytelling. Oh. This must be the symbols we saw on the statue on the left side. There are two curious symbols engraved on the stone. Come on. It's like the serpent thing. What is that? A tall figure stands in the goods. I might have taken it for a tree. We're not breathing heavily. Is an end. Inside, I can see things near the threshold. Getting closer and closer. Be careful, Wakefield. Don't get grabbed. Oh, that guy. 
Oh man. So these are the four classmates. Alexander, David, Anthony, and the last one must be Hugo, no? After what happened to Father Gling, I think they, sh they will shut down the school. Is that the guy that got grabbed by the shadow? Father Gling. Anthony. That thing we saw. I don't know what it was. But what about your father's diary? Myths, legends, superstitions with no basis in scientific observation. Anthony, talk to us. All right. My father discovered several ancient myths pertaining to the veil. They come from a variety of cultures and hence take many different forms. But they all say something similar about what resides near the threshold. An ancient being that sleeps within the fog, protecting the door from intruders. A vengeful custodian. But no matter, at any rate, my serum was a failure. We got but a glimpse of what exists out there. Nothing conclusive. But what if the serum had worked? I don't know. As I said, I have no data. And those myths, what do they say? Those tales, they all say that if any intruder got too close and was discovered by what, what sleeps in the fog, then the custodian will be relentless. It will pursue the intruders and destroy them wherever they might hide. There will be a few ways to protect themselves from its rage. Oh. Adding to the lore. So I wonder if that has to do something with the eye of the bird, you know? Is that the custodian? Is it the same thing? What is this? Oh. Mark. It's like a wild, like a this guy Alex symbols like I V. Uh, then I can go that way or this way. Let's go over here, bro. Bro, what am I supposed to do with this? Are you guys taking notes? And this is similar to one we saw, but it's reverse, no? It's mirror, okay? This is definitely one of the symbols we saw before. Does that mean we have to... Oh! Okay, we have to follow the symbols, I think. Okay, so we do... This, the M, A, then this S... Then what should we call this? I don't even find it now. And then the V. So I think we have to follow that path to get out of here. Because <laughs> we are freaking trapped. Let's let me check. What is this one? Or maybe we do it in reverse. From right to left. Fucking hell. Man. I'm so bad at this. I just don't understand the logic. Maybe it has to do something with the stone statue, but I forgot the description, you know? Okay, was it this one? Yes. So, okay, so here we have one, two, and three. I think I have to go through the middle one. I think. Correct. And then for the last one... Honestly, I don't know. I'm going to go this way. It's probably wrong. Oh, it's right. Where am I anymore? Wait. Wait, what? Whoa. We went back to the beginning? 
Oh, we did. We did go back to the beginning. Maybe... Okay, I have a new idea. What? Lost <laughs> in the goods of Hyrule. How did I solve that like that? That's crazy, no? Is this David? A shadow strongly resembling my patient stands in the clearing. I can see through it. It's like the other shadows. Four men are making careful preparations. I know, I know not for what. This is the first time they did the ritual at the school. Or this captain skied. David, are you certain that he can guide us safely through the fog? His results are extraordinary, Anthony. It is the best chance we have of avoiding the gaze of the custodian. There cannot be no doubt that the captain survived an encounter before. He even kept a companion from harm. We'll finally see what lies hidden beyond the curtain. It is time. Oh. I saw this before. Oh, yep. What? The? Let's say it didn't go too well as they expected. Oh, 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 we can go this way. A huge statue of a mythical creature. It is the bird with the head of a wolf? Or is it a lion? The description reads 30 birds. Guys, sound explain to me what is happening. 30 birds. Is that a hint for something? <clears throat> An enormous black feather. This this summit rises above the fog. Though all I see is fog and an endless ocean of clouds. Despite its size, it is extraordinarily lightweight. Freaking giant bird with a lion head is gonna come for me now. What is that noise? Something's out there. It's getting closer. Get the fuck out, man. Oh, the 30 birds. Oh. Oh. Oh, they are all sick after the event, huh? Easy as sleep. He is now. He has been so long. I have begun to lose hope that he will ever awaken. Were you able to speak with him? Oh, maybe this is why David barely remembers anything that happened because maybe they got so sick and they injected them or something, the doctor tried to heal them and they had memory loss, no? Anthony, David has forgotten everything. Everything. God heavens. It may be for the best. Our research is likely to take some time. If he truly has amnesia, his condition will protect him until we are ready. But should we fail, remember what happened to Hugo. Ashdown entered the Vale in full knowledge of what might happen, and we will succeed where right, uh, right fail. We will use the serum to induce primal terror in a controlled environment. In one stroke, we shall overcome all of our obstacles. But when the time comes, we must have a means of guiding our dear friend back to us. Hmm. So I'm guessing Hugo died on that first event. There, he'll be safe. But then, Anthony, Alexander, and David, the three remaining, 
we're planning on going back to it in a safe way to do something, not to recover something. I don't know. I still don't know that. There's something on the ground near where the masked person was kneeling. And another one. That's... Can I combine this already? Oh, there you go. Oh, I have all the parts. There you go. An eyeless mask. It is similar to the one I found in Alexander's safe house in London. Put it on. Oh, put it on. The mask is eyeless. I cannot see a thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Walks it. Oh, that's the darkness, no? Now that you cannot see a thing, we have to put it at uh, at this place. So what is the the jaw for? Or the feather? I don't know. No one is here. They all left. Or maybe they are inside the building. Okay, we surely have to put the mask here. The darkness will guide you! A man is standing next to the open curtain. Is that Alexander? Here we go, guys. Welcome, Dr. Wakefield. Alexandre Dupre. Yes, I have been waiting for you. We all have. I was in a pit in Ailey's Moor when suddenly I found David. But he disappeared. I journeyed through the fog and found myself here. But how is this possible? Alage Moor. I don't know that name. Many paths in our world lead to this place, Dr. Wakefield. And I know only a few. In some of Sai Lafel's mirror, you see the truth leaking into our world, and in others, you see yourself. I knew you would reach as a less. He was certain of it. He? The first founder of the Order. The Artifacts. Do you not yet know his name? Wait, Jeremiah is the founder? Oh damn! Or is it Hugo? I don't know who, who who is it. Who do you guys think it is? But Anthony has his father as well. I don't know actually. Who was the person trying to guide them through there? I'm gonna say Hugo. Do you mean Mr. Ashdown? No. Hugh came here long before the rest of us, but he made a terrible mistake. He peered into his own truth, and he was transformed. Do you not, do you not yet know his name? Let's go with David. Do you mean Mr. David? Truth can be hard to accept. Yes, Jeremiah gathered us all under the same rule. With that, the neck is yet. See that no one knows. We knew of the final truth which lay beyond the threshold. This is what the playwright was committed to finding. This was Jeremiah's obsession. The first language which is said to grant the power of creation. After our experiment at school, we realized that the path of the Ancient Ones was watched by a fearsome guardian. We needed a way to circumvent the inexorable gaze of the bird. I found Captain Skid, who had met the bird and lived. We decided to use him in a test. It was a catastrophe. We eventually found the survivors, but their memories were incomplete. Jeremiah had fared the worst. He had been left devoid of any memories that were related to our efforts. Now we are understanding a lot more, no? Okay. We were desperate to find a solution. Hugo tried and failed. And then Anthony and I miraculously came across a formula that had lain forgotten for centuries. At last. It was time to bring Jeremiah back into our ranks. 
That was nearly a disaster as well. I did not anticipate Anthony's silent madness or the extent of Father Ernest's decline. Mercifully, Jeremiah's life was spared, but something else was wrong. When Jeremiah reached me, he did not remember everything. He had changed. He told me that he was going to put an end to all of this. He still means to acquire the first language, but he wants to use it to ruin our work. He has already crossed the threshold. Once he learns the final truth, none of this will ever have existed. The order, the door, or ourselves. You must stop him, Doctor. You must stop him before the curtain crosses forever! Ah, uh, what do we do, guys? There's no time, you must decide! No, I'm not gonna stop him. You guys should end all this. Let him end it. The moment has passed. Now it is too late. We are doomed. What do you mean we're doomed? If Jeremiah is gonna end this freaking ritual you guys are trying to do, that's a good thing, no? Like, he came to his senses. I don't know. Let me try to go save him. I'm sorry. Oh, is that the... Now I'm curious what happens if you go in there. Once more, I found myself enshrouded in dense fog. Gradually, the fog dissipated, revealing a busy street in London. The mask that I had worn lay on the ground, melting like wax over the wet cobblestones. Dizzy and exhausted, I wandered the streets until at last I returned home. It seemed very small, as it always does after a long journey. Bro, now I'm curious what happens if you cross the curtain. But as I removed my coat, I found a feather in one of the pockets. The same one that I had discovered before being engulfed by the black mass of the simmer. To be honest, but I'm happy with the decision I took, you know, but because like I explained, if Jeremiah is trying to end all this madness, I'm all for it, you know. But if I try to go for it and I stop him, then freaking horror is gonna um, like be free, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. With a jolt, I realized that it had not been a dream, and I was ashamed to how quickly I had deluded myself into thinking otherwise. This is the same about that crazy woman, Mrs. Fo what was her name? Kone? I was like, no, it was not a dream. Look, I have a, a token to prove it. It was real. I kindled a fire and placed the feather on the crackling flames. As it burned, I heard the distant calls of crows in the street. Despite the heat, I shivered. My patient and friend, Jeremiah David, had sacrificed himself. He had accepted the consequences of his friend's actions and his own as well. You see, this is what I mean. Like, he chose to do that for a reason. I'm just respecting his decision. But he's dead! He had crossed the threshold, leaving the veil through the red curtain of truth, and forever closed the last door that had led to those horrors. But I had not found the strength to follow him. I could not take his place. Oh, we could have suicided it? What? They didn't, they didn't tell me that. I doubt that I will ever learn the fates of those who remained there. Those who are hopelessly trapped in Silothel. Bro, I want to see what's in there. What's on the other side? My thoughts now turn increasingly to the last mission 
to which my friend Kaufman entrusted me. I must make sure that no one ever learns what we discover. What do you guys think? Is this a happy ending? This is the sad ending. I wish that Alexander says something in terms of like, okay, you can go there and save him, but you're going to die yourself. Something like that, you know, like choose. You have to choose you or him. GG's. Last door. Two. Season two or whatever. What an amazing game. Uh, I guess you cannot load like the last save to see the other ending. I'm going to look it on YouTube. Is the good ending? Like, do you know for that? Do you know that for sure, Polygon? But yeah, I really like how I'm not sure if they had all this planned. Very happy ending. I'm not sure. At, at the end, David dies. But I guess Wakefield wanted to sacrifice himself for him, even though it was Jeremiah who started all this. But yeah. But uh, what, I, what I was trying to say is, I'm not sure if they had all this, all this plan from the first game because in the first game, they mentioned the threshold, they mentioned the veil, they mentioned the, the eye of the bird, they mentioned a few notions. But in this second game, there is so much more to that, like the Silathal, the Custodia, a lot more thing, the playwright, and all this stuff. It feels like. A lot more is going on. I wish... Hmm, I, I like following Wakefield's story, but I wish we saw David more, or you play with him a little bit, because... I don't know, I feel attached to him from the first game. And this game, you never play as him. So I, I wish there was a minor section of him being inside the veil or something. And... I don't know. But I guess also if you see that... It'll break the magic. It'll break the um, the curiosity of reaching this spot. But then you reach it and I didn't enter. So I'm guess I'm gonna look and do the, the other ending now. But let's do let's let's keep doing the review. Uh, the puzzles in these ones are amazing because they added the map with different areas. Right, the first game uh, everything is confined to one area. So that's a that's cool. All the baggers should also be dead in the next yet. The end. Is it the end? Is it really the end? Uh oh. I hear something. Oh, is the croak cracking on the window? Poking the window? Who's there? The crows. Is it? Okay, okay. So they're still watching Wakefield, maybe. They are after him, maybe. Maybe he knows too much. And this is where the rock where the four witnesses were talking there. Thanks for playing. Uh let's do the extras, no? Like we did on the first game. Let's do it. Extras. The mask with no eyes. The inner circle is gathered once again. A whole cycle has passed since the last playwright traveled to the land of shadows and fog. Now the mask with no eyes has chosen a new bearer. 
the path between worlds will be visited once again and the veil upon human eyes shall be lifted forever the playwright meets now the custodian of the threshold So this is Captain Skid, no? An ancient being guards the door of mist. May the playwright take its light and stand by its watch unnoticed. Four wisps of fog shall reveal the truth. The fire of dawn scorches through the barren desert. I like how they're moving like a ritual, like a little dance. The boreal embers brighten the dark sky. The power of Sephiroth glows in the dark ocean. The austral flame shines within the dark forest. So these are all the areas I've been through, no? The playwright will stand in the center. Also, all this knowledge are from Anthony's father's book. All the myths and legends. So that's why they know. Let's see. And the curtain will be drawn at last. Oh boy. And then its eyes were open. Oh. So that's the ancient language they were talking about, no? We barely see. That's the only extra episode that I see here, no? Yeah, I think so. Uh, last or season two, but we're gonna watch the second ending, okay? So this is when the curtain is closing. See what's gonna happen. So you go inside. Oh! So you did already once more. So you did run the already scene side. Just uh, another text of the end screen. Okay. Once more, I found myself shrouded in dense fog. Gradually, the fog dissipated, revealing a busy street in London. Isn't this the same thing? Dizzy and exhausted, I wonder. Yeah, this is the same thing, no? But maybe, maybe this is David talking, not the doctor. Notice for the first time that I was holding the rope of the playwright in my hand. That was different. Kindle afar and threw the rope into the flames. As the watch did burn, I remember the black ocean. I had stood there. On the beach, staring up uh, at the terrifying heights of the vertiginous Mount Quaff, where the verb is said to lie. What is that? I don't understand any of, any of that. Then, someone touched my arm. It was Dr. Wakefield. Our encounter on the endless dunes had not been an illusion. Also, it was like there, and then the doctor came and him okay okay in his quest to find me he had ventured into the veil itself so this is david talking confirm he said nothing but it was not necessary he had come to take my place to sacrifice himself 
he stayed behind and closed the door after giving me the chance to escape. His reasons, I'll never know. I mean, I wish you got to see inside for like a brief moment at least. I do not know what happened to Alexandre and the others. But I fear that they are trapped in Sala Sa Ilafel for all time. That's not good. <laughs> I stare at the endless rain splattering against the window. And I remember that I had something else to do. A last promise to keep. With that, the neck is shut. Wait, what? He didn't learn shit. He's gonna do it again. He's gonna try to open the last door again. <laughs> Bro, I feel like there's so much I don't understand still. Okay, uh, I was expecting more than I don't regret too much not entering them. Well, to finish the to finish the review, uh, like I said, the music is one of the best compositions of any game. I'll say, top. Like the music was top, top, top. Every single moment, every single thing that was happening, bro. Perfect music for every single occasion. Superb. And the passes are fine, the scares. I wish there were more scary moments on the last two episodes there. Something, sure, the shadows and the creepiness and blah, but something like they right there at the end they should have done something super scary. Like they should have they should have saved the most scary thing for the end. I wish if you cross the curtain, if you go inside, you manage to see like the like a giant bird or something. Like like the guardian, you know, like the sentinel. Like the custodian. They called it something like that, and you have to like run from it or somehow somehow avoid it to save David. Something epic, you know, not like just uh, you go there, cuts cuts to black, and then text. Like, come on, bro, give me something, give me some climax, you know. Oh, whatever. Um, but yeah, horror wise, it's more like keeping the tension. It does it so well. There is so many good moments in this game. So many remote moments. The caves of the piano, the tunnels. Oh man, that was so good. Uh, if I had to read this game 1 to 10, I'm gonna give it an 8. I'm gonna give it a 9. Uh, but easily 8. First one, I give it a 7, I think. This one, I feel like, is longer, it's better. Even though the first game has a special charm to it, to it and it has like something unique. This one. I'm missing some parts from the first game, but at the same time, the puzzles and the locations is a lot longer. It's more complex, you can say. So, yeah. I'll say it's a bit better. But it's a bit more confusing as well. I'm not sure. But anyways, that's going to be all for me for today. Thank you, everyone, for watching, guys. I'll catch you tomorrow with more spooky horror games. Take, a, uh, take a care and good night.